Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're actually going to be looking at a vanilla version of Windows. Crazy, I know. We're not going to be looking at just any version of Windows, no. We're going to be looking at what is considered the worst version of Windows ever. Windows Millennium Edition. <laughs> So the story with Windows ME was that Windows 2000 came out right and it used the NT kernel. So instead of releasing Windows 2000 Home Edition, they just released Windows ME as a stopgap because they wanted to wait till Windows XP came out. So they just released Windows ME to fill in the void, let's say. And well, it wasn't received very well. What are my thoughts on Windows ME? Well, we're gonna take a look at that today. I had to change the boot priority, so we're gonna shift F5 now. C colon, and I believe it's copy. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you can tell I haven't done this in a while. So yeah, we're gonna boot from CD-ROM. We're gonna start with CD-ROM support. We should be able to go into our C drive. There we go. And then we're gonna copy D colon backslash win9x. Why isn't this working? Oh, poop. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm dumb, I'm dumb. Hang on. Why isn't this working? You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. We're just gonna we're just gonna start set up from CD ROM. I was gonna show you guys the cool way of doing it, but of course I'm too stupid to do it. Yes, we're gonna format this drive. The formatting's done, and now it's just gonna do our scan disk and oh my god, this setup screen. <laughs> Whenever I installed Windows 98, I, I always saw this setup screen. It's just so nostalgic. <laughs> I just, I love it, okay? That's all I could say. So we're gonna just, we're, you know what, why not? We're gonna do custom. We're gonna install everything, baby. Multi-language support, multimedia, web TV for Windows. <laughs> if I actually copied the files the other way, we'd actually have the drivers on the hard drive. If we needed like the monitor driver, the mouse driver, you know, it's all right there on the drive. We're installing it this way, you have to install the drivers from disk, which I mean in this case shouldn't be a big deal because duh, we're in a virtual machine, right? But if you're doing this on vin on actual hardware, then it would be better if you just copied the files to the drive before you went into setup. Maybe I should make a video talking about like how to install Windows that way. Let me, yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see a video about that. All right, so yeah, I guess we can just reset now. Yep, Windows ME, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe we're doing this. While Windows 2000 was a really good operating system, it was meant more for the business users. It really wasn't meant for the consumers, even though a lot more consumers actually used it than once thought. And no, Microsoft decided to create Windows ME to fill in that gap before Windows XP came out. Okay, what should I make my name? Let's just call it Farts. You could put in the same product key like thousands of times. This was back when you didn't even need the internet to activate your version of Windows. Boy, those were the good days. I miss, I miss those days when you didn't have to activate it online and all that dumb sh Alrighty, so here we are. Now, actually what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna install the, yeah, here we are ladies and gentlemen. Windows Millennium Edition. Uh, what do we have in programs? Yeah, you got, you pretty much have like all of your Windows stuff. You know, you got your networking stuff. Web TV for Windows, baby! With Microsoft Web TV for Windows and a TV tuner card. Wow, do you guys remember TV tuner cards? Oh my God, I remember with Windows 7 and they were advertising on the Media Center application where you could use like a TV tuner. God, those were good times. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is basically your guide, your guide channel. So, which obviously we don't have anything because we're not connected with the TV tuner or anything. Windows Media Player, what version is this? Version 7.0, Windows Millennium Edition Preview. God, no, I, I remember seeing this like on the nostalgia mall oh my god yeah i just noticed my sound isn't working but whatever yeah the 
Yeah, you can watch this on YouTube if you want, but I remember the Nostalgia Mall reacting to this, and it was just, it was just funny. I'm sending my data to the internet. Oh yeah, isn't that one of those crappy gateway all-in-ones? Yeah, LGR actually did a video on that, that one gateway, what was it, the Astro? That thing's a piece of sh**. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Yeah, this is the first version of Windows that has System Restore. And it doesn't work too well. <laughs> Apparently with snapshots after two, 2001, I think, it just goes all over the place. It's just hilariously bugged. I mean, I haven't seen this when I was little, but even just looking at it now, it just takes me right back to those days of where we had to use like AOL and stuff that nowadays is pretty much obsolete. Classic hearts. Yeah, that's, is this is this a card game? The Microsoft Hearts Network. Fart Bag. Solitaire, classic Solitaire. A lot, yeah, a lot of these are card games, which sucks. Cause I'm not really a card game person. This is, yeah, this is just Solitaire. It's nothing really special. Oh, look what they got, baby. Yeah. Oh man, did, wait, did it crash? I'm clicking everywhere on the desktop. I think it crashed. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Never in any of these videos have I had an operating system crash on me in a virtual machine. That's nuts. I know, I'm a noob when it comes to this game. I don't know why I, I wasn't paying attention. Whatever, it's Minesweeper. It's... It's, it's just Minesweeper. Of course, I can't, yeah, not even, the sound's not even working on my end either. I don't know why. Imagine if they made like an actual pinball table with 3D Space Cadet. That would be sick. That would be pretty awesome. An actual pinball machine with this layout. That would be cool. How far can we get with AOL? I think the version I had like on my parents' old computer, if I remember, was like, it was either six or seven. I can't remember. God, do you guys remember like up here, this bar? God, I feel so old seeing this. I feel like I just aged 20 years. And then you sign on and it and it had like this window here with the, the noises and stuff. But yeah, I know this ain't gonna work because yeah. Yeah, because my internet just doesn't work. How about Billy Core? Hi, Billy. I love your content. Keep up the good work. I want to send it, man. I want to send. Even if I were to connect, it, this still wouldn't work because this version of AOL is completely offline. AT&T. Yeah, I like how this went from like talking about Windows ME to like going into these online services. <laughs> oh man, I think, did we just crash again? No way did we just crash again. Yeah, I can see what they mean by Windows ME crashing a lot. Yeah, of course you got Notepad. Hello world. God, do you remember when people used to make like YouTube poops with Movie Maker? God, I, I feel so old. Yeah, that's one thing I, I don't like about Movie Maker. But hey, you know what? I do respect the fact this was pretty much the first of its kind. I doubt this is gonna work. I, I doubt this is gonna work. Actually, I think we can have a new internet account. My telephone line. Oh, I feel old. I mean, we can figure. We're not gonna set up our mail account. Yeah, I miss this up here, this loading bar. It's not really a bar, it's like a graphic, but yeah, you see the Windows logo with the bird? I, yeah, I miss those days. But yeah, now what are my overall thoughts on ME? Well, despite the crashes, despite the issues it has, this is not really too bad. You know, I mean, it comes with a newer version of Media Player. You have the first version of Movie Maker, which that alone is pretty at least for Windows, is kind of innovative, if you even call it that. And again, because it's, it's a Windows 9X system, so this should be compatible with all your Windows like 9X games. Now, one of the big negatives to Windows ME was the lack of DOS support. 
I know you can re-enable it with some mod, but if we're just talking like vanilla Windows ME, there's no way you're using like real mode DOS. You can use DOS in Windows, but you just won't have the, the like let's say you have a Sound Blaster 16 ISA car, for example. You might not even be able to use that because that might require booting into real mode DOS if that makes sense. Yeah, another thing, again, the crashes. I can see where people are coming from with these crashes. Yeah, it literally crashed on me twice this session. Crazy to me, because this is a virtual machine, so this shouldn't have any problems. So it shouldn't really crash, but no, it crashed on me twice. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. If you like the video, you know, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content. You know, just share the video too. That would really help me out a ton. And until next time, guys, peace.